Walker, man. Hi, Walker. How's yeah. the sick day? 50-50 chance. <laughs> Best. <laughs> watching this. That's only big badger. Walker, sick chance. <laughs> That'll work. <laughs> it's a recording. <laughs> well, no, then you'll hear him yell potatoes, and then uh, he's watching. Um, I don't know. At I'm home? I, yeah. Potato. Yeah. <gasps> what just happened? No, I know one of you texted him to say potato and see what happens. All right. That's like, I hope you knew about it. Finally, he's a whiskey. All right, here we go. Uh, who wants this? Oh, you guys still working on it. All right, hold on. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no. I won. So, which way you get? What, uh, uh, what are you doing? So, I want to follow. Give me an equation. Are you oh. going to follow this loop like this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that. Okay. So, starting here, maybe down here is what you're saying, or where yes. do you start? Yeah, yeah, down there. Down there. So, go through. I'm going to go uh, zero. Oh. I'm going to go zero is equal to up three volts, and then going this way, I'm going the direction of the current. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be minus. I1 times 3, 2, sorry, 2. And then I'm going backwards to this one, right? Yeah. So this is going to be plus uh, 5I2. Okay. Now give me another loop. Max. Um, let's start at that same point, but go the other way. Go to big loop? Yeah. So okay, go big loop. So I'm going to go... 0 equals 3 minus I12, that's still legit, minus 5 because I'm going backwards against the battery. Uh, and then I'm going the correct direction for this, so minus I3 times 6. And then I need my current ones. What are my current ones? I3 equals I1 plus I2. First equation was the loop starting here, like this. Okay. Let's see if we get the same answer. We should get the same answer. So, Max, uh, which one are we going to isolate for? Um, oh, well, yeah. I would just... Which am I isolating for? I1. I1. In which equation are you going to isolate it? Let's do it in the top one. You know, actually, I one in the top equation. I've got I three sitting here with an equal sign next to it, but I'm going to do I one in the top equation, which has a two next to it, causing everything to be fractions. Solid choice. Go back. Go back. Whoa. <laughs> Max, what are you trying to do to me? Minus three, minus five I twos equals negative I one times two. Divide by negative two, and I get positive three halves. Plus five halves I two equals I one. I like that. So everywhere I'm in I one, I'm going to plug in the other two equations. You could not have picked a worse one. You really, this is amazing. I am, I am astonished by your abilities here. Okay, plug in. I got zero equals three minus two times this mess. Three twos plus five twos I two minus five. Oh. I probably should have simplified that, but never mind. We'll just keep going. Uh, minus I3, minus 6 I3s. So simplifying that, I get 0 equals negative 2 uh, minus 3 uh, minus 5 I2s. I got that taken care of, so minus 6 I3s. Plug into this equation here, I'm going to get I3 is equal to <laughs> 3 halves plus 5 twos I2 plus I2. So I get I3 is equal to 3 twos plus 7 twos I2. Wow, all right, so that was, that was fun. <laughs> I got to isolate another variable. I assume you're going to choose the 7 twos one because that would make some sense. <laughs> I3. I3, oh, okay. All right, thank you. Plug it into here. I get negative uh, 5 minus 5 I2s minus 6 times 3 twos plus 7 twos I2. 
So I get 0 equals negative 5 minus 5i2. 18 minus 9. And then 42, 21. 21i2. Wow. So that gives me 14. 14 equals negative 7. No, negative, whoa. Negative 26i2. Any chances what you guys got doing it the other way? I got negative 7, negative 7 thirteenths. Is that right? Was I too? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Knew it all along. Felt that was the right answer. Good one, Max. Woo! And then I could plug this in to get I3, yeah. and then plug it both of them in to get I1. Woo! Okay? So that's how you do it. Um, that's Kirchhoff's Law. Kirchhoff's Law also has a nice feature in the fact that we're going to talk about something called capacitors next. We're going to talk about inductors after that. Kirchhoff's law works with these things, and whereas the other system starts to fall apart really fast when you only got it parallel and series circuits. Okay? So try to blow through the remaining one. Let's go. Let's go. Battery this way. I have a positive battery that way. I got a positive battery this way. So it's got to be going this way, right? One amp that way. Yeah. That's legitimately one amp. Okay, what's the question asked? What's I1 and I2? And what's the voltage of this battery, the EMF of that battery. Okay, so I look at it and go, all right, well, um, give me a loop. Struts. Um, loop. Well, let's start right before the battery we don't know and then go back around to the ammeter. The battery don't know, like this, through the ammeter and then back here? Yeah. Okay, so that would be, uh, it would be, uh, it would be uh, going the right direction, right? So I've got zero equals negative eight, which is one times eight, plus voltage. Double check that three ohm resistor down here. Uh, and that's the proper direction, so minus I23. Can I solve that? Wait, why is that? Oh, wait, no, there's a V in there. You're going to V in an I2. What? Where's that eight from? I've got, it says i got one amp going through this ammeter. If i got one amp going through the ammeter, then this must be eight, amp, eight volts drop across here. And that's the proper direction, which we established because we got the both batteries pointing the same way, which both be pushing it that way. Again, they should tell us if we're not going to do it that way. But there's only one way it could possibly be. All right, what else you got, sir? That would work. That's, that's one loop. Give me another loop. Uh, same thing, except on the other side. Same thing on the other side. You want to do the top loop? Yeah. Starting at the back of the battery like this. So 0 equals 20 volts. We're going the proper way, so we're going to do 5 I1s minus another 8 back to 0. And looky there, we can actually solve this one. Is it true that I1 equals negative I2? Can you do something like that? No, because there's some escaping here. I could say I1 plus I2 equals 1. I can say that. Right? Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and go over here. I get negative 12 equals negative 5 I1. I get 2.4 equals I1. So I got 2.4 amps is equal to I1. So I got one of them figured out. What else you got? We need V and I2 still. You know the loop? Or I need to do the summation, which I told you before, you probably want to do a summation. Let's do that. Let's of the do current. Summation. Okay, so I2 plus I1 has to be equal to 1, right? That's going to lead to a surprising result in a moment. Let's do it. I1 is 2.4, because I already have that, right? Plus I2. I2 equals negative 2.4 or 1.4 amps. Negative? What? Because it's the opposite reverse direction. That means I got this arrow wrong, which tells me what? Look, the battery's pointed this way. How can it be? How can that be that way? 
Oh, like it's a, it's a bad battery. battery. You just smash a bolt to start. Yeah, it. this thing is actually powerful enough. It's shoving current backwards through this battery, which means this battery is probably going to be pretty small. So. And breaking. <laughs> and breaking. Assuming it's not something rechargeable, cute like that. <clears throat> okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and go. Okay, so I got to get the last one, but I go back to my third equation, right? It's sitting right there. I can just do that. A equals my voltage, which I'm looking for, minus I2, which is negative 1.4 times 3. A equals voltage plus 4.2. Voltage equals 3.8 volts. That battery is 3.8 volts, and that's why the 20 volt battery is shoving current through it backwards. Why do we know that the I1 plus I2 has to be 1 amp? Has to be 1 amp. Mm -hmm. okay. And this thing's putting out way too much. This thing's putting out 2.4 amps coming this way. Yeah. One went this way. So it actually says it's easier to shove it backwards to this battery than to go through that resistor. <laughs> but that battery does have a giant internal. Yeah. Anyways, so just in summary, get uh -huh. the voltage down.